MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the Oral Hershiser, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this ought to be fun to watch in this one here today. A guy with over 2,000 career strikeouts. Think about it. He knows how to get swings and misses, and he knows how to paint the corners. Hopefully, he'll bring some of that in this one here, and he should be fun to watch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Daniel Murphy is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Great afternoon for baseball here. 71 degrees, the temperature at first pitch. Swung on and missed, one and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fouled away. Again, a 1 2. Another one sent foul. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Into the box now, Nolan Arenado. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Still no balls and two strikes. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Blackman behind, no balls and two strikes. Hit to first. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. And now we'll see... So digging in now, Willie Mays. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. Really. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Dahl. But he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the parker. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. Standing in now, Joe Morgan as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Batting third, the right field, Orlando Cepeda. In now, Orlando Cepeda. Popped him up. Arenado in foul ground. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. the Giants number four batter Willie McCovey one in one out and one on here in the inning and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one Morgan a runner at first with one gone in the inning and they pitch out here but nothing's happening ball two Two well count the pitch. He's going, and he's there going. he goes towards second. Strike called. Now the throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Here now the 2-2. Two -two.
drilled right back up the middle. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So in now for San Francisco, Dave Kingman. He comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. up the middle and in for a base hit. The run scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball middle of the plate. Kept his hands back. Stayed through the baseball and delivers a hard hit line drive. Stepping in now. Omar Vizquel. and one delivery a bouncer up the middle story scoops it up throw to second for the force out and the side is retired second inning set to go and next it'll be the outfielder David Dahl the first pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball it's one and oh Dahl is really a well balanced hitter that doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right hander or a lefty he makes a lot of loud contact either way which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Now with the play, Ian Desmond. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. So it was a swinging strike three. Ian Desmond goes down for out number two in the top half. Trying to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. Into the box, Dom Nunez. And she'll come up empty that time on a sinker. It's strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Rocky Strand. Striding in, Matt Williams. He went deep in the contest last night. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Leadoff hitters aboard. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Nobody out, runner on first. Throw over to the bag, and he's back easily. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this one is gone. A home run. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Fly ball out toward left center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting. So now to the plate, Willie Mays. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Now back, second baseman, Joe Morgan. At the plate now, Joe Morgan skied in the air to straightaway left, giving chase his doll. He makes the play, runner tags and hits for third. 
The relay throw, and a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. Now to the plate, Orlando Cepeda. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Willie McCovey. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. But they strike for three in the. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. Nine, one, and two do up. Swing and a miss on the sinker, 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Now, that now here it comes. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's six to this point. So he's got good stuff and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Looked like that swing was in slow motion. Two and one. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. The first baseman, number nine. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one in. Bottom of the third now, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Dave Kingman. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Skied in the air to straightaway left, giving chase his doll. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So one gone here in the San Francisco third, and that'll bring up one of the all-time shortstops, Omar Vizquel. Line towards center field. Desmond is there to put it away for out number two. Now that. So stepping in, Matt Williams. He reached on a single in his first try. Pitch on the way. This is flared out towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side. Here's Nolan Arenado. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Back goes Kingman on the warning track. He makes the catch. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls and a strike to count. In there, and it's 0 2 now. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. David Dahl is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Fouled off. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame and the inning is over. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Buster Posey. Yeah, man, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. The pitcher, number 55. Ready for another chance? Oral Hershiser. He singled his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Desmond is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Number 24. Really? First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit high and deep out to left field. And it's gone as they add still another. So that was the third home run for these guys today. D-Row, some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Jairo Diaz answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. And he will come all the way around to score. Unbelievable. Orlando. Standing in now, Orlando Cepeda down the third baseline. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And set to go is the rookie first baseman, Willie McCovey, grounded to the right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Ian Desmond stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Fouled away. The next 0-2. Popped up. McCovey has room in foul territory. One away. Now batting. Number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Garrett Hampson. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. This year against right-handed pitching, Hampson is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And make oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Then it goes to first, and it's not in time. Hey, that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling now. Dom Nunez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook You're pitching right there. Three. Jump ahead and the count 0-2, oh, and then start working yeah, outside the zone. Easier Run said than done, but that's the way to do it. He averaged down at an even 220. No home runs yet in this first month, and three driven in. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end. Carlos Estevez gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Hit hard back up the middle, and a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. So he continues to hit the ball well, his second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see there, he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. To the plate now, Omar Vizquel. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Dahl comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now that is Stepping perfect. into the box, Matt Williams. Williams. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a drive out to left center field.
the relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Wow, with one out, and he clutches up with an RBI triple, which is his second hit of the game. So he's starting to put together a pretty big game here. And that'll bring up Buster Posey as he'll send a ground ball down to third. The tag, and he's out at the plate. Picture. Digging in once again, Oral Hershiser. Oral. He's working on a one for two game so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. But the Giants. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Heading out towards shallow right. Cepeda has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. The first baseman, number nine. Daniel first pitch on its way. Three. Daniel Murphy oh, is at the plate as he watches ball one. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. As he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Uh, needs to get that sinker down. It's 2-0. and oh. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. So it was a swinging strike three. Nolan Arenado sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Boy, this is one of those A-B. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Willie Mays will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second now and this ball still hasn't been fielded. And he is in to third with his fourth hit of the ball game. The batter, number eight. It's rare to hit a triple, but he's knocking on the door of his to that three-bagger, which is the hardest one to get. He already has a home run and a single. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Boy, talk about striking on back-to-back -back pitches, d -Row. A triple then followed by a single. Big inning lurking here. Yeah, Dan, I think that's a game plan today against this guy right now. Being aggressive in the zone. If he's going to attack, then they're going to pull the trigger. In now, Orlando Cepeda. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now batting, the first baseman, Willie. McCovey. So here's the cleanup hitter, Willie McCovey. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here, the double. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Throw comes in to third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. At the plate, Dave Kingman. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. 
Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 10-0 score. Brian Shaw gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On the ground to the right side. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two the aboard back. now. The third baseman. Stepping in now, Matt Williams. Fly ball right down the line in left. And they can't run it down. From the belt, the pitch. And it's fouled away. Two down runners at first and second. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss. Seventh inning ready to roll and standing in the outfielder David Dahl no contact on the sinker there and he's behind 0 and 1 fouled away and he struck out again that's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one in now for Colorado Ian Desmond 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Called strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far, as he's had a whale of a ball game. At the plate, Garrett Hampson. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. One ball and two strikes to count. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps... Three up, three down for Colorado. Starting to look bleak, down 10-0. First pitch coming. Here it is. This one's down to third. Arenado has it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The pitcher, the now at the plate, Earl Hershiser. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. So two away now in the San Francisco seventh, and that'll bring up the great Willie Mays. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground is short, and it's through for his fifth hit in five at-bats. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Into the box, Joe Morgan. Liner toward right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that... Digging in now, Dom Nunez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88, and at this point in the game, that's a good place to be, so I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Sam Hilliard will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Lays off 1-0. Hilliard, a native Texan. He was selected in the 15th round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, 
there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Trevor Story steps in now. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Wade Davis comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Ready with the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. To short. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Willie McCovey. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Hard hit ball to second. He's right there. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now that. Striding oh, into the yeah. box, Dave Kinman yeah. earned himself an RBI yeah, with a right. sack fly his last time at the plate. From the stretch, the bouncer to the left side. Story brings it in to second for one. On to Murphy. It's a double play. Daniel Murphy steps in now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's still looking really solid here in the ninth, and I'm sure that big lead has helped him pitch free and easy, but to me, it still looks like he's approaching it like it's a close game. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Daniel Murphy is retired to kick off the ninth. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And he'll make the catch to end it for the final out. And the Giants will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 10 to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. The Giants.